Hey guys, you see here for my trade price. Uh, thought of making a little uh, video here. Uh, I think uh, <clears throat> the market action was, and since we have a month end, just a quick five six minute clip to talk about how the, the price action and you know how we traded few uh, navigated the market today and made some trades. So let's look at QQQ right month end uh, monthly bar closed. So tomorrow is the next uh, monthly ball where it start. So we have two monthly. Uh, bars with the bottom wick so that's a good buying pressure now let's see if tomorrow or you know the next few days market starts drifting towards uh, a little towards the downside that's fine but if that bar becomes red to green uh, that's a good long setup right uh, to to kind of swing this uh, this this move to the upside right now yes in the weekly time frame we have this top wick we'll see how it takes its final shape tomorrow uh, so we got a little bit of rejection here from this 370 area right we have been talking all throughout this week uh, if we had broken out then definitely 376 would have been the next level but looks like we might close somewhere over here again we'll see what happens tomorrow again market has its surprises but but for now that was the level we were watching okay and today in a daily time frame we kind of closed below uh, for the first time below this uptrending channel that you have right we closed below that the market was weak let me bring the other levels here so at the morning actually I'll show you the NQ right because that was a good setup that's what we took a lot of uh, clues from today right for example our lead bar remember I tweet uh, wrote in the in this in, in the in the chat uh that if we get this hourly bar as a bearish bar the next one will be a dump right i mean of course i did not know you but but the setup was there so there was a highly likely chance and the reason was simple from the price action perspective that uh you know the price broke down earlier in the day the move back up couldn't take the overnight highs right so no upside follow through and the next bar was bearish right so no upside here and the next bar it tried to get back up but failed so that's a perfect setup to look for for a short right so that was a very high quality setup and even in 30 minute time frame right all you see right here is uh that no bullish bars are seeing any upside follow through right so there are no consecutive 30 minute bullish bars right so any upside you see uh the price gets sold right by uh, and you have these bottom wicks lower highs lower lows so all those were indications of uh that the market is weak apple right it's a, it's a, it's a market leading uh, stock it was weak it was not seeing any momentum to the upside it broke below the uptrend line so that means uh, again you know I always tell you in my videos that I always look at Apple to kind of give me a clue of what's happening Tesla uh, the better quality trade was on the short side right to lean bullish I really would have wanted it to get above 1107 here because that was sort of the triangle pattern where the price would have gone up and broken out from but it did not happen instead it went and broke below this uptrend uh, you know triangle uptrend line right so that was a good short setup but we saw an immediate reversal but that reversal couldn't get back above this 1107 area and I personally was looking for short side trades so that's why for me i was ignoring all the buying buying uh side trades right of course there will be buyers of course there will be uh you know bounces things like that but your job as a trader is to evaluate uh which side to stick with right if you're an active trader sure you can bounce play the bounce from 1084 uh, play the rejection from 1099 but if you're trading options uh and 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 you know you want to day trade then you want to overall generally in the longer run it will pay you better if you try to stick with the trend with the sentiment with the market bias right so that's why we stuck with the on the short side nvidia uh, perfect setup in the morning uh, let me get into a five minute time frame uh, the market opened right and it dropped nicely towards the downside we saw a nice big bounce and then this one uh, the the price the rejection right from the up downtrend line it was a perfect setup and the reason was 
uh, not only that it was on the downtrend line, but also that was the swing high from yesterday, right? Intraday swing high, right? There you go. Intraday swing high from yesterday, right? This was pre-market, so it does not count. But this one right here uh, was the swing high that it got, got uh, you know, it was a good setup to go short against the stop loss of 285, right? Because if it had gotten above that, uh, that means it's getting stronger. It had gotten above this downtrend line and now we're seeing a follow through move but that was not happening so you take the calculated risk uh, by shorting it on the top end right similar story with nvidia uh, sorry with amazon right intraday it made its move to the upside if i drill to let's say five minute view uh i think we'll have to adjust this one right a little bit but you get the idea that the short was right here at that time the trend line was something like this and i shorted right here uh right and i shorted uh 33 i mean i bought 3300p the reason was because i wanted to be close to the to the current price because of you know there was only one day left for that expiration so i wanted maximum delta keeping in mind that i wanted to stick closer to the uh, current price and then it gave another move towards the upside got rejected at 33.15 and then it just dumped right uh, so that was a good play uh, on the short side so sticking with the higher time frame looking for strength to sell is it was there was a sort of the mojo today for the market right uh, going in tomorrow we'll see what happens i'll update the levels later tonight and share with you guys in the morning but uh but overall uh, i mean it's still okay still uh, i mean if i look at the monthly bar for Amazon, it does not look bad at all, actually. Uh, it's it's okay. It's bullish, right? But now we just need to see how it follows up to or spills over to the next uh, next month, right? Uh, we have these three bottom wicks and the monthly bars. Usually that means buying pressure. But now if, if it needs to do something, it needs to do this month. It needs to get above 34.28 to break out above this, uh, this three-month range here, okay? Uh, all right, guys, more to come. I uh, just wanted to kind of discuss some thought process about the markets the past few days. It's been difficult, I know, uh, because it's not been a running market, but that's fine. Then you just, as technical traders, you switch where you look to not buy or get into the breakout trades. You rather try to get into bounce or rejection trades. And then even further, fine-tune your trades to stick with the trend. Uh, like, for example, today was not bounce day today was rejection day right it would have i mean yes bounces would have paid could have paid but the better quality was on the rejection side so that's the thought process all right guys have a good rest of your night talk to you soon